Hey there, Eric here, and I normally don't do unboxings, but I got a new toy today and I wanted to share it with everyone. It's my new phone, my new tablet, and it's going to help me in my augmented reality projects. And it's called the Lenovo Fab 2 Pro. It's humongous. I haven't even opened the box yet, but uh, it's by Lenovo. They don't make a lot of phones, right? Uh, it's got a huge display, finger fingerprint scanner. It's an Android device. It's got a nice Qualcomm Snapdragon processor and uh, some Dolby Audio sound. Dual SIM, but the reason that I wanted this phone, it is the first commercially available product with the Google Tango project uh, enabled. And what does that mean? You see these, there's an array of uh, sensors on this device, a uh, bunch of cameras. It's kind of like having uh, Xbox Connect on your phone. So just like um, humans, we need two eyes to sense depth. This has dual cameras and a couple of other motion sensors and infrared sensors that are combined to get a clear picture of the environment. So you can just kind of wave this around and get 3D images, uh, 3D environments, take on all that data, kind of knows how far away things are and knows distances and things like that. It's going to be great for augmented reality. So I'm just going to open this up and see what's inside of here. Right. First plastic off here. You can see the box is huge. This is going to be a huge phone. I know it is. Just to give you an example, this is my my current phone. It's a Galaxy Note 4. Not the kind that explodes that I know of. And go. Take the tabs off here. Yeah, this phone is huge. <laughs> there it is. You see the sensors on the back here. Here's your main camera. It's a high definition camera. We have a secondary camera here. And actually there's a camera in the front as well for uh, front facing. And then you have a fingerprint scanner on the back. I don't know if that's gonna work well with your hand positioning, but. And then you have an infrared scanner and a depth sensor. So you can just kind of wave the phone around and catch the depth of the camera. Now this is huge. Now this is my my uh, note. It's huge. So an iPhone would probably be somewhere around here, <laughs> and this Plus would maybe be even smaller than that. So this is it's yeah, not bad in there. I wouldn't put it in my front pocket though. What else is in the box here? We have USB plug adapter. Magnetized some quick start guide, safety and warranty information. A couple of cables here. USB for charging and PC connection and some looks like fairly generic headphones with microphone, so a headset, as it were, black. This is a gunmetal gray option here. Dual SIM, it says fingerprint reader. It's got probably some front face no not front facing sound, speakers on the sides. Some grips. Feels good in the hand. Feels kind of heavy. It's um, doesn't seem like any cheap construction. It's metal, and uh, yeah, the uh, fabrication looks pretty good. I would say that it seems like a good quality build. I'm gonna need to buy if I buy a case for it, it's gonna get even bigger though. Whew, this is huge, and I'm gonna be opening this up a little later, and I'm gonna be showing off the quality of the display and things like that too. But just to talk a little bit about the phone and why I got it, um, it's the first world's Tango enabled smartphone. Tango is a platform for creating um, augmented reality environments. So this phone 
knows the environment. It has 3D tracking abilities and able to create point clouds like never before. And this is the first phone to be able to do that. You can probably you're probably going to be able to see this technology being put similar technology at least being put into iPhones either this year or next year. So it's got motion tracking, right? Motion tracker. So it's like having, like I said, a connect in your phone. So it's got an area learning, right? So usually you can take a you can take panoramas these days, right? Where you just flash your phone across a big wide area and it stitches all the images together into one wide panorama. Now this will do that too, but also it will take in uh, distance information along with it. So not only will you create a panorama, but you'll be able to now step into that environment because it knows how far uh, away from the phone those each individual parts are. And if you walk around the room from different angles, it will take in a point cloud and then you can directly port that out into some sort of virtual 3D environment. And I'm really uh, kind of salivating to get my hands on that particular um, uh, use of this. So yeah, depth perception. It knows how far away things are. So I can imagine this bringing the games like Pokemon Go to life because, you know, the Pokemon Go game uh, for other devices uses the one singular camera and it just puts an overlay of a Pokemon in front of whatever you're looking at. But this one, it'll be able to know that the table in front of you and there's a chair behind that and recognize that it's a table and be able to use that in a real 3D environment because it's going to meld 3D and real world settings like no other phone has before. Um, I'm going to try some apps. This article just came out today for best Tango games. There's a couple of cool ones. Domino World, so you can it detects where tables are and you can kind of have virtual domino sets be put on them. That sounds interesting. <clears throat> and another one that I really want to try out. Um, yeah, Dinosaurs Among Us. They put out you know, the dinosaurs start running around the floor and behind walls and things like that. I'm going to try that one out. This one I'm really excited to do is the, um, the 3D modeling. So you walk around your house and it creates 3D models of what you're looking at. So it's going to be great. So excited to get it. I'm going to start turning it on and checking some stuff out. And um, I'll get back to you about its use in later videos. Thanks, guys.